Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Mega Man. Last time we defeated the remaining two of the six Robot Masters, that being Iceman and Fireman. And this time, we're taking the fight to Dr. Wily himself. So if I were to explain Dr. Wily's castle, imagine oh, an, ex an extremely long stage, but it's been broken into four segments. That's basically Wily's castle in a nutshell. So right off the bat, I recommend you switch to Ice Slasher because you will have three big eyes waiting for you right at the entrance. And um, remember, one hit from a big eye takes away a third of your health, and there's three of them waiting for you, so if all three of them manage to hit you, yeah, you're done. Fortunately, the Ice Slasher is so cold it could freeze enemies even in mid-air, so... All you really need to do is wait for them to jump higher than usual and just freeze them. I also recommend you try to save Thunder uh, as much of Thunderbeam's ammo as possible because the boss of this stage is weak to it. And, uh, well, you're just gonna need as much... You might... You want as much ammo for it as you can possibly have, that's what I'm trying to say. Although, you might want to use it right here because they got a little bit of a jerk move right here. Right there, that one little jumping robot that was on the far left. If he reaches the ladder, he will fall and he will hit you. I like to use Thunderbeam on him because I have no idea how you're supposed to hit him otherwise. Maybe Firestorm? Firestorm would probably work actually, but I just like to use Thunderbeam. Plus, it's OP. And we are already at the halfway point for this level. Not a very long one, is it? You want to be careful for these uh, of those wannabe bullet bills, because if they hit you, they'll more than likely knock uh, knock you into the spikes. And invincibility frames or not, if you touch spikes, you are done like dinner. Once again, just like in Iceman's level, I highly recommend the th uh, the Magna Beam for that part. Just makes it so much easier. And here is the part where the Magnet Beam is mandatory to beat the game. If you do not have it for this part, you're not getting past this. Fortunately, those two little energy pallets, or pellets that you saw in the room uh, downstairs, they do respawn every time you re-enter it, so if you're out of ammo for it, just keep coming back and leaving until you refill it. And here we go. The boss of Wily 1. Whoever it is, I'm ready for you. Who could possibly? Oh. Oh, God. No. No, Wily, have mercy! No! Why did it have to be him? Meet the Yellow Devil. He is widely considered the most difficult boss in the game, and though I don't think he is, I can see where people are coming from. He is resistant to just about every weapon in the game except Thunderbeam. And even then, I dare say, I dare say, he's resistant to that too, considering you can only hit him once. If you try to shoot him a second time, you'll see he has invincibility frames and he won't take any damage. There is a glitch. I don't remember exactly how you do it because I never really do it. Never needed to. I think you just pause and unpause over and over again, but... I don't know why, it resets his hitbox and you just like instantly one-shot him. You can- this fight can literally go like... It can literally be like four seconds long if you do the glitch, but I didn't want to do that, so... We're gonna do this the hard way. If you choose to do it the hard way, you're gonna find it's a bit of an endurance test with him moving from one side of the screen to the other. But I don't think he's that bad. I mean, even on my first playthrough, I think I only got like maybe one game over on him, maybe two at most. I figured out his pattern pretty quickly. It's really just a matter of the timing for dodging those little blobs he throws at you. But with that, Yellow Devil is defeated. Look at that score. Hmm. On to Wily 2. Right off the bat, you're going to be welcomed by... I believe they're called 
Bunby Hellies? I might be wrong. I don't entirely know the names of every enemy in this game. I'm pretty sure they're called Bunby Hellies. You could just spam the Mega Buster here if you want, or uh, you could actually use Firestorm. When you use Firestorm, in addition to it being a projectile you fire, um, it also makes a shield around you, and small enemies like Bunby Hellies are destroyed by it, so you could do that too. Or you could just uh, use the Thunder Beam and uh, one-shot everything. Up to you. And what the heck? Cutman is back. Yep. Dr. Wily has gone ahead and rebuilt Cutman. And I think it's safe to assume he's rebuilt the other five Robot Masters as well. I mean, why would he just resurrect or rebuild? I'm going to assume rebuilt. I think it's implied that they're, um, they're not the originals, that they're copies that he built himself. But why would he just rebuild Cutman? I mean, like, isn't he the weakest of the six? I think it's safe to say we'll see Elect Man and the others relatively soon. I'm using the Magna Beam here because I want this weapon energy, and uh, there is a pit down here. It's not a bombless pit, but still, I want that weapon energy. And what do you know? Speaking of Elect Man, and he's down. He can three shot you, but you can also do the same. Right here, we're gonna get what I like to call pitfall enemies. They can't be destroyed. Oh, I, oh, I, I was gonna say, I don't remember the names for them. I just remember they had a funny name, but I remember now. Those things, they are called Bomb Bomb Bomb. It's really just Bomb three times. I like, I find that it's actually quite similar to, the, to an enemy in Super Mario. They're called Bomb Bombs. I like to think that they just copied Nintendo, but added an extra bomb to the name. I don't know, I just always found that name funny. Bomb Bomb Bomb. We are almost at the end of this level. Just gonna destroy these four turrets. Get some more score multipliers. I never mentioned what those little orbs are, did I? They're, they're basically score multipliers. They don't actually add to your score, though, until the end of the level, I think. Or maybe they do. I don't know. I'm not really paying attention to my score. I never pay attention to my score in this game. I like the score system, but it never returns after this game. I guess they saw it was kind of pointless. It's really just bragging rights. But here we go. We're about to face off against the boss of this level, and I'm going to use... I actually use Super Arm against him right here because... Because of how situational Super Arm is... His AI can't do anything to you when you have super arm equipped, and he uses the same weapon you have equipped. So if you have Firestorm, he uses Firestorm. Thunderbeam, he uses it, etc. But if you use super arm, well, Copybot, as I like to call him, I think his official name is Copy Robot. Uh, Copybot.exe has stopped working. Uh, it's just something I find rather funny. But in all seriousness, I recommend Firestorm for this fight. Whenever you shoot, he jumps, at least usually. I think there's a certain timing to it you want to get down. But the reason I like using Firestorm against him is besides the fact that I think it's officially considered his weakness. Uh, in the off chance that the projectile you fire misses, he'll more than likely jump into you, and because Firestorm creates a shield around you, he'll more than likely jump into that shield and that will damage you. You might take contact damage as well, but in my experience, not usually. But with that, Copybot is beaten. See you guys in the next episode.